Hey guys, Spray the Greek here again. Just taking a small video to show you my truck and how uh, clean it is, at least I think. Got my recovery tank, my nitrogen, and if you can see in the back, my acetylene. Got my crowbar to break into, into some cars. Nah, I'm just kidding. Got my EMT tube bender. Got my drop light. Got my spray bottle. Got my six foot ladder. I'm thinking either today or tomorrow I'm going to go to the supply house and see if I can buy one of those um, uh, racks that bolt onto the top over here. So instead of bolting it on top of my roof of my van, just goes in here, slides right out. So I really don't have too much inside except for tools. Just bought this nice uh, gadget right here a couple of days ago. It's from Testo. It's a uh, Testo 416. It's a digital anemometer. Thing works awesome. I'm like a little kid when it comes to tools, you know. Anytime I see something, a brand new tool comes out, I just gotta have it. Got my brand new hand truck from Home Depot. Bought my portable cordless uh, coil jet cleaner, as you can see over here. This thing's about two months old, but this thing is great. When I'm going at uh, public schools or restaurants and they want me to PM their units, clean the condensers, this thing is absolutely great. You know, since it's portable, this compartment over here, you fill it up with water. This compartment over here, you fill it up with chemical. And there's a little dalvey here to determine how much chemical, mixture of chemical and water comes out. It comes with uh, two nozzles, a uh, straight shoe, and a wand to spread out the water. Got my hose to clean the uh, coils, rooftop units. Got an extra meter in my truck. I already have one in my tool bag, but you never know. Sometimes when you're on a service call, your meter could crap out. So it's good to keep at least one extra one. And I like this one because it comes with the clamp for amperage. Unlike the fuel piece, uh, what is it, SC77, where it's built on, which is good. This one comes with two wires in the back. You can see over here in case you want to check the amperage on the blower motor and put the panel back on. I also got my oxyacetylene system. And I also got my leak detector right here. I actually had to use this yesterday because I went on another service call, service call for a gas smell uh, in, a, in a restaurant in the Bronx. Turns out the gas valve, which was a kind of like a smart valve, electronic, it, after the unit was shut down, it would stay stuck open a little bit so the gas would be leaking out of the burners. This thing right here, let me tell you, within less than 10 minutes uh, using this thing, I found the leak right away. Love this tool. It's the backer rack informant too. like this one too because this one not only does combustible gas but also does refrigerant too. It's a great tool to have if you guys are looking in the mar or if you guys are in the market for a leak detector. Let's see what else I got here. Got my little snake for like little things, stuff like that. My cordless grinder. Got my tubing over here, soft copper tubing. This box is the half inch, and behind it is my quarter inch and my three eighths. Right here. This thing is really good to have. This is a uh, high side gauge over here. See a high side gauge here? I mainly use these for ice machines because when you're working on ice machines, most ice machines I work on, the charge in the system is usually anywhere from like one pound or one and a half pounds. So if you use your gauge manifold, half the charge is in your hoses. So since you use this, just screws right on, and you, when you unscrew these, you, practi you practically om lose almost no refrigerant. It's much better than using your gauges over here. I also have one for the suction for the suction line. Let's see what else I have here. Also picked up this dude uh, about a month ago. Got this from my got this from my local Johnstone. This is to see if there's acid or moisture in the system. And the company that makes this is Refrigeration uh, Technologies. And also got this on my Johnstone. Part number is B12068. It's a, a good tool to have if in case you work on a system that has a burnout, if has acid or if has moisture. Definitely something good to have in your arsenal of tools.
Another thing that I have, digital manometer. In case you want to check the gas pressure from a gas valve, if you have too much pressure, not enough pressure, if you have problems with your burners or your flames, this is something definitely good to have. Because I do a lot of uh, commercial cooking equipment for different New York City agencies like FDNY, NYPD, uh, New York City Board of Education, uh, and some other places like New York City HAC, which is Health and Hospital Corporation. Got over here my yellow jacket tool right here. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. This is my yellow jacket flaring tool over here. Love this thing, it's a ratchet. You know, you unscrew this and it lets you adjust it. You know, it opens up like this. You put your tubing in. And this one's rated for the 410A. If you want to do flares for 410A over here, like this tool a lot. Let's see what else I got over here for you guys to see. Oh, the Hilti. I don't know if you guys know about tools, but if you guys know Hilti, you know Hilti, whenever you buy Hilti product, it's an arm and a leg, but you do, you really are paying for the quality. It's a power actuated tool gun. I remember when I first got this and I showed my brother what this was. I told my brother to shoot this. He refused because he was scared. I shot it. This thing is great. If you want to hang like duct work uh, to a uh, ceiling and you want to bolt the straps on to the ceiling or wood or whatever, this is a really, really powerful tool. But since I live in New York City, they, they, had, they made me take a test for this, like a certification test. And also, since I live in New York City, it's kind of weird. You can buy the tool in New York City, but you can't buy the tools in New York City because no Home Depot or no place in New York City has the license to sell the bullets. So what I had to do is that I had to buy the bullets out of New York City, like Long Island, New York, Nassau County, Suffolk County. And the, and the different colors, the yellow, the blue, I mean the yellow, the green, the brown, is for different strengths and different types of material. Got my coal cleaner, my leak detector, my vacuum pump oil. See what else I got here for you guys. Mm. Okay, got my little portable wet vac over here. Uh, it's a four and a half gallon, five horsepower. Even though this thing is not that big, this thing is really powerful. It'll suck up anything. Uh, let's see. Oh, got the Zircon circuit breaker uh, detector. This thing came in handy about two months ago, working on a unit, had to shut down an outlet, had to shut down a breaker for the outlet, didn't know which breaker was for that outlet, and this thing is great, comes with the detector, comes with the box, and the way this box works is that, let's say you're working on a 110 uh, appliance or whatever, this, and this appliance is plugged into a 110 outlet, take this adapter here, you put onto these two connectors here, here, and you plug it into the outlet, and you leave it plugged in. You go to the circuit breaker, turn this on, and you go one by one by one to each circuit breaker. And whichever uh, circuit breaker beeps, sets this off, that's the breaker for it. Uh, this one can do anywhere from 110 volts to, th to 230 volts. Single phase, not three phase. Also got... Let's see, got my grease gun, also got another of my pressure test kit, but this one's for uh, boilers because I do a lot of uh, service calls on oil burners, and I got, my, I got my charging scale right over here, got my tube bender over here, let me show you guys that real quick. Got my tube bender, ratchet tube bender. This is really good. It makes it easy when you're bending tubes instead of squeezing. It's like a ratchet. Comes with different sizes like 7 eighths, 3 quarters, 5 eighths, half inch, 3 eighths, quarter. Like that. And you put this on. Depending on the size, this one does some 3 quarters, 7 eighths. And these adapters, what happens is that you put these adapters on and it reverses the bend for you. Alright guys, thanks for watching.